we go to our knees. From the child's resting pose, we get into a kneeling position. We stretch our arms to the sides, inhale. On the exhale, we stretch one arm up and the other one down in the opposite direction, inhale. On the exhale, we cross our arms behind our back, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. The back remains straight, the head does not tilt, only the arms move. Repeat five times in each direction. Good. Now we place our palms in front of us, and we move the pelvis first to the right near the feet, then to the left. We sit right next to the feet. We pull to one side, then to the other. We gently roll over. After doing six times to each side, we take the right leg back. Pushing on the toes, we lift the knee up. Inhale, exhale. We lower it. We raise it. Inhale, exhale. We lower it. We raise it. Inhale, exhale. We lower it. We change legs. We move the left leg back. And pushing on the toes, we lift the knee up. Inhale, exhale. We lower it. Inhale, exhale. We lower it. Inhale, exhale. We lower it. Once again, we sit on our knees. We stretch our arms up. Inhale. On the exhale, we lower the hands. We straighten the arms. Inhale. Exhale. We lower them between the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. We lower them. Inhale. Exhale. We lower them. Inhale. Exhale. We lower them five times. Leaning on the hands, we step into the downward dog pose. We bend the left knee and place the right foot behind the left foot. We transfer our weight onto the right leg. We stretch the right side. We return. Inhale. On the exhale, bending the right leg, we lean on the left one. We stretch. We return. Inhale. We bend the left leg. We step onto the right one. Exhale. We return. Bending the right leg, we step onto the left one. We stretch the left side, we return. Again, taking a step with the right leg, we bend the left one. We stretch along the right side, and once again, bending the right leg, we step onto the left one. We return. Rolling onto the toes, we get up, we smoothly transfer the weight to the hands, we step forward. And gently pull ourselves up. We join our palms and elbows and turn into an entirely vertical pose. And we return to the horizontal pose. Now in the other direction, again with vertical arms, we return. Once again, we bend with the arms in the other direction to the right. We return. To the left. We return. To the right. We return. We try to bring our arms into a vertical pose. Once more. We return. In the other direction. We return. After repeating five times in each direction, we pull our arms up. Grabbing the elbows, we tilt the head to the right and pull the right elbow up. Exhale. We return. Turn the head to the left. We pull the left elbow up. Exhale. We return. We turn the head to the right. Inhale. Exhale. We return. To the left. Inhale. 
Exhale, we return to the right. Inhale. Exhale, we return to the left. Inhale. Exhale, we return to the right. Inhale. Exhale. We lower the arms. We place the legs a bit wider than the pelvis. We bend the knees. We take the pelvis as far from the center as possible and make a circle with the pelvis. The shoulders are above the feet. Only the pelvis moves and makes a circle. Five times in one direction. Five times in the other. Gently, evenly, and very smoothly, we make a circle with the chest. Good. We put our feet next to each other. We lift the elbows and turn the palms out. Bending, we push the body forward. We try to take the elbows back as far as possible. Look at the ceiling. Inhale. On the exhale, pushing the shoulder blades, we pull the hands toward each other. We pull the arms forward. Inhale. We extend. Look up. Exhale. We push the body forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. We bend our knees. We kneel down. We stretch our arms forward and rest. From a kneeling position, we get on all fours. Bending our knees, we raise our feet. Move our hands a little forward and bending our elbows, we lower ourselves, tucking in our ribs and tailbone. We move back and sit on our knees. Inhale, rock forward, bend our elbows. Exhale, move back onto our knees. Inhale, bend our elbows. Exhale, rock back. Inhale. Exhale. It doesn't matter how far we lower ourselves. The important thing is to keep our back straight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Rock forward. We lie on our stomach. Put our hands on the floor, even with our chest. Rest our toes on the floor. Our pelvis is on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, lower our chest. Inhale, lift our chest. Our elbows are pointing straight back. Don't let them go out to the sides. Exhale. Push ourselves up. Inhale. Don't straighten our arms. Pelvis on the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Get into a kneeling position. Stretch out our arms. Inhale. Exhale and get on all fours. Place our hands on the floor at the width of the mat. And lean over onto our right arm, bending our elbow a little. To the left, to bend our elbow. To the right. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Get down on our elbows, raise our knees, put our head down between our elbows. Inhale, move into a plank position, leaning on our elbows, raise our pelvis, lower our head. Exhale, lower our pelvis. Inhale, raise our pelvis. Exhale, plank. Inhale. Exhale, plank. Inhale. Exhale, plank. Inhale. Bend our knees. Sit. Stretch our arms out in front, turn our hands so our palms are facing each other, and lower them as far as we can. Raise them as far as we can. 
down, up. We keep them even with each other. Our palms are facing each other. But we continue to lower and raise them as far as we can. The entire time, our palms are facing one another. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Put effort into the motion. We don't have to wave our hands, but raise and lower them, trying to go a little farther. Now we turn our hands the other way, and we continue to stretch our hands up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up. Shake our hands a little. Let them relax. Lock our fingers together, and stretch our arms out with our palms facing out. Twist our arms around as far as we can, crossing our forearms. Then go as far as we can the other way. Again. The other way, and again. The other way. We try to rotate our arms as far as we can, keeping our fingers locked and crossing our forearms. Okay, shake our hands out again. Lock our fingers together again and stretch our arms out with our palms facing away. Turn our arms as much as we can in one direction so they are vertical. Then in the other direction, vertical, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now try to move them in a figure eight. We roll our wrists as far as we can, all the time turning our locked hands. Try to keep them from separating. Rotate around the right arm, around the left. Lift up our arms, shake out our hands. Lean forward, kneel, and rest. From our knees, we go on all fours, lowering the elbows on the floor, turning the palms upwards. We pull the tailbone back without sitting down. We keep our palms upwards. We press the elbows down, pull the ribs to the knees, and the tailbone up. We lower the head to the floor. The neck is relaxed. If it feels difficult, you can move the knees back a little bit to maintain a more confident pose. We continue pulling the tailbone back. The armpits are pulled towards the floor. We keep the palms upwards. We carefully get up, roll onto the knees, pull your hands closer to yourself, lifting the pelvis up. We cross our legs and pulling the knees forward. We sit down, using our hands to support us. We carefully lie on our back, stretch the legs out. We join our palms at the level of the chest. Lift the shoulders up, pressing the lower back to the floor, and pull the toes toward yourself with force. We raise the heels, knees tensed. Try to press the entire back surface of the body down, and we lie down. We stretch our arms behind the head and push the toes away from ourselves. We tense the ribs, squeeze the head with our arms. We continue pressing the lower back and pull it to the floor.
Now we bend the right knee and press it to ourselves with both of our hands. The back remains straight, the pelvis doesn't move. We pull the legs straight to ourselves. We make sure that the pelvis doesn't turn. The whole body remains straight. The lower back is pressed to the floor. We lower the shoulders without rounding or bending. We maintain a straight line. We lower the leg, pull it down. We lift the left knee up, pull it to ourselves. Continue pulling up the right toes and stretching the left toes forward. The back is straight, the pelvis doesn't rotate. The lower back is pressed to the floor. We lower the shoulders, extend the neck. We maintain a straight line. We lower the leg. We stretch our arms out to the sides, press the palms down. We pull our knees to ourselves and put our toes a bit wider than the pelvis. We turn the knees to the right and press to the floor, stretching with the knees. Inhale, we return. Exhale to the left. We press the knees down. We return. Exhale to the right. Inhale, we return. Exhale to the left. We stretch with the knee. Inhale, we return. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Exhale to the right. We hold the pose. We continue pulling down with the left knee and feel the knee pulling the whole left side. At the same time, we keep the left shoulder pressed to the floor. We press the shoulder and stretch with the knee. We make sure that the pelvis doesn't turn too much. The left edge of the pelvis is pulled up. The left side of the buttocks is hovering. But we continue pressing the back to the floor and stretch with the left knee. We return. Inhale. And on the exhale, we turn the knees to the left. Continue pulling the right knee to the floor. We press the right shoulder down, stretch the right side. We make sure that the lower back doesn't sag. Slightly twisting the tailbone, we press down. Pull the lower back to the floor. The pelvis doesn't lie on the floor entirely, but we don't raise it higher. We continue with the lower back and pull the ribs to the floor. We return. We pull both knees to our chest, grab with both hands, and pressing with the knees. At the same time, we pull the tailbone to the floor. We don't curve the back. We make a multi-directional effort when we pull the tailbone down and pull the knees to ourselves. We lower the shoulders along the floor. We do not pull ourselves up, do not curve. The entire back is lying on the floor and we continue pressing the knees to our chest with force. We lower our legs. We stretch the legs out along the floor, pulling the toes towards ourselves, lift the shoulders up, join the palms. We press the lower back to the floor, Pull the heels closer to ourselves. We press the lower back harder. We place our palms under the lower back. We carefully get up. Cross our legs. Move the feet back. Stretch the arms forward. And we rest. We carefully lie down on our back. Using our arms, we stretch out our lower back. Stretch out our neck, straightening our legs. We join our heels. Our feet are relaxed and spread out to the sides. We close our eyes. 
the whole body is relaxed. We scan our body from the inside. We focus on the feet, relax the toes, the whole foot, the lower leg, the knees, the hips, the pelvis, the buttocks, the lower back, the stomach, the chest, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the neck, the scalp, the facial muscles, the forehead, the temples, the eyebrows, the nose, the lips, releasing the chin, relaxing the tongue inside the mouth. Relax the eyelids, free, relaxed breathing. Feel how the air fills your body on inhalation. And on exhalation, the body softens and spreads out on the floor. Again, inhaling, it expands every cell. On exhalation, the body softens and spreads out on the floor. Feel the air moving from the center to the periphery, filling and expanding. Each cell is becoming airy and large. And on exhalation, each cell contracts, getting rid of everything unnecessary and cleansing itself. Each new breath fills you with strength, energy, and makes you light. Each new exhalation purifies, washes, and gets rid of the unnecessary. Feel the pulsation of this breath. Observe, but do not interfere. Feel how with each breath you expand, with each exhalation, each cell contracts. Breathe slowly. We observe how the body comes into contact with the floor. Each point where the body is pressed onto the floor, the heels, calves, thighs, buttocks, shoulder blades, ribs, shoulders, hands, nape of the neck. Feel how your body is heavy and how it presses into the floor and how it's getting heavier, unbelievably heavy. Like the floor is starting to buckle under you. Every cell of your body is trying to go down. As if the body wants to drain into the ground. Feel this heaviness. Feel this pressure. And now feel how the air fills your cells and how they're becoming larger, airier, and lighter. And with each breath, they are expanding and becoming weightless. Your entire body is becoming light. And you feel like it's going to come off the floor. Each cell is like an inflatable ball, expanding, trying to lift you up. Your arms and legs are becoming weightless, just about to come off the floor. The whole body is becoming light. Your head, you feel that soon you'll take off. Your body's so light and airy. And on the exhalation, you again feel the expansion. On the inhalation and the softness on the exhalation. 
Feel all the points of contact with the floor. Feel how your body softens and spreads out on the floor. Clench and unclench your hands. Stretching your arms out, pull your toes toward yourself. Bend the knees, bring them to your chest. Turn to your side and gently rise. <laughs>